Hello everyone and uh, welcome to this uh, DC television to, um, introduction to Python programming. This is statistics and analytics um, sections unit number four, whose uh, DCT questions which we are going to discuss now. For the purpose of uh, understanding, we have divided this uh, TCT revision video into three parts. So this is the part one of the video. So the question number one, that is, what is Python primarily known for? So Python, which is a programming language, you all know, uh, has multiple features, but primarily for which feature the Python has been used, that has been asked here as a question. So the question, so the options are high performance, flexibility, low level programming, and complex syntax. So we all know that Python may be high performance language, but there are other programming languages which give the uh, same performance. So it is not a primary reason. So option is incorrect. Low level programming language, no. Python is not a low level programming language. It is a high level programming language. This is also no. Python is known for simpler syntax, user friendly syntax, not for the complex syntax. So this is this option D is also incorrect. So the correct option is flexibility. Option B is the correct option because Python is very well known for its flexible programming environment and flexible syntax. So overall, Python provides a very good flexibility compared to other programming languages. Next question, which symbol is used to indicate a comment in Python? So there are four options have been given. Uh, forward slashes, two forward slashes, hash, star. So the correct option that you uh, should remember is option B. Whenever you want to have a comment in a Python, you need to have a hash as a uh, symbol to indicate a comment. So the forward slashes, or uh, star marks have been used in the C, C++, and Java programming languages. But in the Python, we will be using hash symbol for indicating the comment. What does the print function do in a Python? Whenever we have a print function in a Python, we use for performing a printing of a given set of uh, data, like printing a string, printing a, any um, sum of a given mathematical equation or anything, whatever you want to print it to the console, we will be having a print function. So the options are reads user input, no. For reading user input, we have input function. Perform mathematical operation, no. It is the job of different mathematical symbol, mathematical uh, functions. Displays output, yes. For displaying output, we will be using print function. Defining a function, for defining a function, we will be using a def keyword, not the print function. So this is also incorrect. So the correct option is option C, display or output. Which of the following data type is used to store a single character in Python? This is uh, some, one of the tricky questions because in this question, most of the people get confused and will be giving the wrong answer. So the correct option you need to choose wisely. So there are four options given: char, string, character, and char array. You should be uh, getting the thing that we want to store a single character. So the correct option might be char, but no, there is no such char data type. There is no such character data type. So both of these are incorrect. There is. A data type called as a string, which can be used to store a single character or multiple character or a null character. So everything will be stored in a data type called as a string. That's why string is the correct answer. So character array, it can be used for storing multiple array, but there is no such character array concept in the Python as well. So the correct option is always string, which is a data type and which can store a single character as well as multiple character. There is no such char character data type, remember that. So how do you declare a variable in a Python? 
So declaring a variable can be with different forms such as var keyword, int keyword, or we can dynamically uh, declare or we can use variable keyword. These are the options. So remember, whenever you want to declare a variable in a Python, there is no particular keyword we need to use, such as int, float, double, we need not to use because variables are declared dynamically in a Python. So the correct option is option C. We need not to use any keyword, where, int, variable, no such keywords are required. So the correct option is option C, which indicates variables are dynamically declared. What is the output of 2 plus 2 in Python? So 2 plus 2 in a Python, uh, here the given format is in the form of an integer. The 2 is the integer, another 2 that is also in the integer form. Whenever two integers you are adding, it will be a mathematical sum operation. It will be mathematical sum operation. So the correct option would be 2 plus 2 equal to 4. If the given two, both of these two are in a uh, string format, then it could have been 22. Or there is a string uh, conversion of this 2 plus 2, then it will be option D. But there is no such string concept. It is completely integer summation. So that's why it is 4. So the correct option is option B, answer 4. Which keyword is used to define a function in a Python? So there are uh, different different keywords for different um, op operations in a Python or defining the function. Whenever we want to define a function like a, a sum, sum of A and B, we will be using keyword called as a def, 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 like def sum takes the parameter as A comma B. So such things we will be defining in a function with the keyword def. The above things that is defined function or FUNC, these are not a, uh, in any kind of a keyword in Python, which are, these are invalid keywords. So the correct keyword is def. What does the length function do in a Python? Remember the length function or LEN, this function is used in multiple uh, way, means for the same purpose, in a multiple data types. It can be used in a list, it can be used in a tuple, it can be used in a string. So whichever option it matches with the length function, tick that. So the options here are returns the length of a string. Yes, this is actually the correct answer. Length function is used to return the length of a string. Returns the logarithm of a number. No, for returning the logarithm of a number, you have a log function. Returns the largest element in the list. No. For this, we have a max function, or we can define our own function. Returns the square root of a number. No. For this, we have a SQRT function. So the correct option is option A. Returns the length of a string. If there is option was returns the length of a tuple, returns the length of a list dictionary, then that would have that could also be correct answer. Which of the following is the correct way to create a list in Python? So we all know that lists are the sequence of elements which we can create in a Python using the square brackets. Remember, using the square brackets. So there are different brackets like these curly brackets, these uh, quote, quotes. These are for different different data types. But whenever we talk about that list, it should be created using the square brackets. For uh, creating the tuples, we will be using these regular brackets. For creating the sets, option B will be used. For creating a string, option D will be used. But for creating the list, we need to use the option 